since I met you Things have been strange You look down on me and judge me So I change The decisions that I made were made Because of how I felt for you But I can't change you There's nothing that I can do The harsh words have cut me greatly Yet the cold air, well it will never faze me My love still stands and it cannot die Your poisonous dagger, it has made me cry I embrace some snobbish ways and you're to blame I became a gentleman in your name Little did I know who you really were <laughs> In reality, you and I, well, we don't really differ And although you've gone and broken my heart I still believe we were made to never part And though I was confident that you loved me as a gentleman You treated me with indifference when I saw you once again Estella, why can't you just come to learn we were made to be, and your love I think I have earned I've tried to better myself so we can be together Can't you just be mine forever and ever You care about me, that I surely know You've tricked many men, but for me that isn't so. Only self-delusion has made me believe in us. My efforts all in vain, and I've had enough. Even though my passion for you is quite rich, for now I have to worry about saving Magwitch I certainly owe him one and I owe you none I have to move on and I have to be all done but I have a feeling that one day we will be one I'm reporter Matthew C. of Channel 10 News. Today I'll be talking briefly with Philip Pirrup, also known as just Pip. He wrote the song Estella about the woman of the same name, who he loves very much, and how his love for her drove him to become the man he is today, ultimately. His love for her made him want to change. His feelings for her caused him much pain. <sighs> Welcome, Philip. Oh, please, do call me Pip. Ah, okay, Pip. So let me ask you. How did you feel when meeting Estella? <laughs> well, honestly, Matt, I felt... <sighs> honestly, Matt, I felt conflicted. I was instantly in love without a doubt, but when she was told by Havisham to break my heart and sent me out crying, I was obviously torn apart. Not only torn apart, but actually torn as a person. To impress her and gain her approval, I really wanted to raise in social class at this point. But then there's the humble Joe Gargery, who doesn't need to be wealthy to be happy and live his life as an exemplary and moral person. So, yes, conflict. There was Estella, then there was Joe. Wow, yes, I'm sure it was a hard thing for you. Love isn't easy, Pip. Now this Joe, was he a role model of yours? 
Oh, oh yes, in a sense, definitely. But again, meeting Estella somewhat changed me. I remained a good person, but my love for her made me want to think less of Joe, and a sweet school friend of mine named Biddy. I was snobbish because I desired to be a gentleman and educated, and frankly, at times I treated Joe and Biddy like I was above them. Joe and Estella, both important people in my life, represent the two sides of my personality. That's a way of putting it. I'm sure it was hard for you to almost have this devil and angel on your shoulders. Oh, indeed it was. It, indeed it was. Now, did you always have faith that you'd win Estella over in the end? A great question. Despite her letting me down, I did have faith that I would win her over because I believed Miss Havisham intended for us to get together. I couldn't simply just let her go. I had great expectations for us. And her breaking of my heart was actually her going easy on me, so to speak. Breaking your heart? Going easy on you? How does that... That sounds interesting. Please do explain this. Alright, so... As crazy as it sounds, she treated me better than other men. She was trained by Miss Heversham to dupe these men and manipulate them by being flirty and seduce them. As for me, she straight up rejected me, telling me there was not a chance. She did not trick or deceive me. She was honest and showed she did care about me. And let me tell you something. She married an elfish brute named Drumley, who was purely evil. One may think that they really fit together, but Estella is not nearly as evil as Drumley. In fact, Estella, in my own eyes, is a person of great sympathy. Great sympathy? Really? Matthew, Estella was raised by a woman who hated men and wanted revenge for her own tragic experience. Estella's blood ran with Miss Havisham's teachings, but Estella was not naturally born with no morals. She has spared me of being tricked for a start, which shows she has a heart, even though she claims she doesn't. Estella should be pitied because she was raised under undesirable circumstances. She loves me, but she has not been able to express it because she suppresses her emotions. The cold things she has said and done to me in my life only allow me to reflect upon something I have learned. Money and high class can corrupt someone who is a naturally moral and good-hearted person. Estella was raised under the rich snobbery of Havisham in the Satis house. As I mentioned before, when I began to long becoming a wealthy gentleman, I embraced snobbish and unkind ways myself. I was able to fix him. Now my love for Estella can be seen as clouding me concerning who she truly is. Her cold, harsh exterior and her once marriage to Drumley may outweigh her sympathetic characteristics to many. But for me, I see a sympathetic person with a rough life. Now to wrap my little rant up, the song zeroed in on forlorn and negative aspects of my relationship with her and did not talk about her sympathetic self. This is because the song represents the simple fact that much pain came from my love for her. It wasn't intended to talk about her sympathy. It was mainly meant to tell our story and convey the fact that she represented my longings to become a gentleman. Well, that's that. Glad to have gotten that all off my chest. It was... that was beautiful, Pip. So, America, and anyone watching, Pip's love for Estella brought him many hardships, but Pip also believes she's a person who is good at the core. She was merely clouded by her raising and the weak morals of the high-class snobbery she was raised under. Thank you very much, Pip, and good night, America.